Alright, in this video we're going to look at the solution to homework 2. Right, first thing is to get the files copied. I'm in Linux here. Let's see, where is the terminal? Okay, if you're in Linux, then you already have a terminal. But in Windows, you do your putty. Copy this file into your handling directory, so you cd space where you want to go, and then cp the file, and then space dot to copy it where you are. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and pico homework2.txt. Put my name in. Collaborators, nobody. Alright, convert 35 to binary to show your work. The way we did in the class was making it a sum of powers of 2. Okay, so that's, those are the ones um, that get 1s, and you can say skipped. Or so there's a 32, yes, but then there's skipped, 16, 8, 4. Okay, so those are in between. And you would write this as one zero 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 one one, and you can check it on Wolfram Alpha. For converting from binary to decimal, you have eight ones, so you list out your powers of two, one twenty eight, sixty four, thirty two, sixteen, eight, four, two, one. And let's see if you count them up. There's four powers of two. There's four powers of two. So we'd have one times each of those. And if you add it all up, it's 255. Looking up the ASCII value for A, little a. Go down to the chart here that has that one. Here's lowercase a. So they asked for the decimal number, which is 97. It also has the binary number there, which you could just write down. If we want to convert this to binary, we have to write it as a sum of powers of 2. So it's 64 plus Thirty-three, which is the same as sixty-four plus thirty-two plus one. And which powers did we skip there? After thirty-two, we skip eight, sixteen, eight, four, and two. So these would be zeros. All right. So then in binary, we have two ones, four zeros, and a one. Zero one one zero 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 one one. We need to write out our powers of two. And write out our binary string matching up. Okay, so what we have is sixty four plus thirty two plus 2 plus 1. If you work that out, we have 96, 98, 99. Binary code, that's a lowercase c. Convert the word cat to binary. So you have c-a-t, cat, we, uh, c we just did. And if we're doing so we just did one zero 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 one one zero 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 one one a we already did as well and if we're making it eight bits put another zero on the front here zero one one zero 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 one 
and for T, let's just look it up here. Uh, this is 7 bits. Let's put another 0 on the front. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. If you put them all together, then you'd have 24 bits. Convert this binary number to hex. So we can do them separately. This is 8 plus 4, which is 12. And you want to go to your list of conversions between decimal and hex. Um, so A is 10, B is 11, C would be 12. So there would be a C there. And that is 3. So just be C3. Convert F1 to binary. F is 15, which if you work it out is 1111. Okay, so let's say F is 15, decimal, which is 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is 111 binary. 1 is 1 in binary but need 4 bits, so 0, 0, 0, 1. Then we have F1 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Convert 42 to hexadecimal. Let's convert it to binary and then convert it to hex. Okay, so converting it to binary, it's 32 plus 10, which is the same as 32 plus 8 plus 2. And the zeros for the powers of 2 that we skip. There's a 16 that we skip in between the 32 and the 8. And there's a 4 that we skip in between the 8 and the 2. And then there's a 1. So if you write this out in binary, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 binary. Break that up in groups of 4. I put an extra two zeros just to make it 4 bits. The first one here is 2. The second one is 8 plus 2 is 10. A. So that's 2A. So that's it for the second homework assignment. I'm going to go ahead and put this code, this file, homework2.txt. I'll put it in the in-class code. So remember, the way copy works, first you say what you want to copy, and then you say where you want to copy it to. I'm going to put it in this directory. Just a minute. Aren't they a bit too loud for you? Who's too loud?